So I am work for multiple clients across multiple globes. Yeah, the number of calls that you're going to get is going to be less. But if you have a strong profile, a strong resume, then you can get calls. Okay. Yes. So coming back, what I'm interested to know is so because I just okay. thought let's get to know the industry. How? Yeah. Can, how? What is the you know interview process? Is okay. So now you got the visa in March, mid of March of 24, and now you're preparing yourself to come on job seeker visa. Now what magic did you do? Like now you are still applying for the companies. You've been applying yeah. from January. So what did you change anything in your resume? And what is important for us to know is how many companies were you applying in a day, and what was that magic? Yeah. So my two things will be. Whether you have visa or not, if you are willing to move. Na research kiya. Mere khud ke videos bhi dekhe aapne. Kabi socha tha ki mere hi YouTube channel mein mere hi video mein kyun interview? Mujhe ekdam se kabul karna yaad aa gaya. To be honest with you. Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel Good Creep in Germany. And today I have a very very interesting story to share with all of you. So I recently uh, met one person who got a job from India after getting job seeker visa and now he is in process of converting the job seeker visa into a blue card even before entering Germany that's an amazing story and that's very rare so he got a job in April and now he is in process of coming to Germany so this story is really going to motivate you and help you in case if you're looking to come to germany so basically it is possible to find a job from your home country even after getting the job seeker visa let's talk to mohit and understand from him what was the process that he followed and how much time did it take for him to get the job seeker visa and then to secure a job so uh, let's welcome mohit so hi mohit how are you hello babe thank you for inviting me i'm good how are you i'm good too thank Thank you so much uh, for accepting my invitation and sharing your story with all of us. I'm sure we have lot to discuss and lot of people are going to get motivated after hearing your story. So what I heard from you is you got a job seeker visa and then you got a job in Germany without even entering Germany and now you are in process of converting this into a blue card. So before we get into that Let us know who is Mohit. What is your current role? Where are you currently located? And what motivated you to come to Germany? Hi everyone. So I am a data engineer by profession, specialist in Google Cloud Platform. Close to seven years of experience. Currently residing in okay. Pune. Starting from like 2017 when I entered the IT industry, uh, having an American dream, just like everybody else in IT industry. Right. Because my first client was an American company. so right. i had many our colleagues in america and i used to be very fascinating about their lifestyle and how the tall buildings are how their life routine is yeah. you know wake up early log off early like that so right. i always wanted to go on site that is why um, i looked out into the options obviously first options are us and canada for an software developer yeah. <laughs> but uh, you already know what kind of traction we have in there for the visas yeah. and you know waiting period so europe was the second thing which uh, was looking for and uh, fortunately i ha- i have experience you know catering to german telecom market as well so there okay. i met with my colleagues and there i got to know about the job seeker visa when did you get to know about job seeker visa which month and which year i got to know last year actually uh, around okay. september or october so okay. said, so yeah, october so, of 23 is it uh, yeah october yeah october of 23 yeah okay okay so, and then you immediately took an appointment or what did no, you do no, next no 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 so I, i there that was just a casual conversation like okay uh, I uh, I was talking to one of my client and I was just telling them that how I want to visit to Germany but I'm a Real Madrid fan I wanted to go to Spain to watch Real Madrid once so okay the colleagues also a Madrid fan so I just told him that I want to come to Germany initially I didn't take it seriously because okay. you already know the language barrier so even if right. you are very good in english uh, my first impression was if i want to go to germany i have to learn german anyway mm-hmm. then i went to the youtube videos like everybody else you just yeah. go to the youtube and yeah. you know, search the things how to go to germany you know <laughs> <laughs> how to go to 
Germany, what is the INR to Euro ratio? How yeah. much do they expect? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the living? Uh, what is the living expenses? Got to you, your channel as well, you know. So you know, okay. and other channels. <laughs> so, <laughs> I got to know. Okay, it's not def- difficult to live there. Okay. I was just trying to find out the similarities between Pune and Europe. The so, similarities yeah. between Pune and Germany is that? Yeah. What you yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, Did you get any Germany, video on that? No, no, no. Not in terms of the lifestyle, for sake. Okay. But the experience. So, see, I am from a T3 city. Okay. So when right. I move from T3 city to a metropolitan city, yeah, uh, there will be challenges like finding a house. You no, know, there are multiple platforms where you can find the houses. Yeah. And there are scams as well. Yeah. Likewise, in Pune as well, there are multiple platforms where you can okay. find the flats. And there are scams as well, yeah. Okay. So it's like and a similar journey, but in a different country. I am having a very decent job in Pune. Very decent domain. Yeah. Salary terms is also good. But yeah. always I wanted to move to a new country. No right. Indians. Language barrier. Yeah. yeah. And from my relative standpoint or my friend's standpoint, nobody is in Germany. Yeah. So right. Those were those were. So these the are the stopping which, points, right? Yeah. Like, then not really, Then when I gone through the videos and all, right? Then I got to know how the life is in Europe. Okay. So every Indian has two dreams. You know, having a job in US, Canada, and having a holiday in Europe. Not just the pros and cons. Then this lifestyle, how much people are earning, and right. what is the work-life balance there. So that was the main thing: work-life balance. Yeah. So I work for multiple clients across multiple globes. And, you right. know, I find the most peaceful work-life balance serving to a European client. Yeah. So I just thought, let's give it a try. Firstly, I was just uh, casually. I just applied. So one clarification. So before applying for job seeker visa, you were you already started applying for jobs directly. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So okay. I have been applying from 2019 only. Okay. Okay. Not okay. not particularly to Germany, okay. but I have been applying to uh, US, Canada, to uh, to Europe, even UK. Yeah. And okay. Recently, the German flavor. Game. Yeah. Okay. So one so, question uh, from all these jobs that you have applied since 2019, did you get any interview call? No. But uh, based on my experience, people who are you know hiring in Germany, even if the job profile is relevant to my skills, I I just apply through LinkedIn. I have applied 30 to 40 jobs every day to DM people. I even bought LinkedIn Premium for that. You know, okay. to send an email, get the contacts. I even sent a cold message like. Uh, I got uh, an interview call for Ireland. Uh, okay. But there, the negotiation didn't end up well in the terms of salary. I okay. was very scared with the percentage of the tax, to be honest with okay. you. And at that time, I was very young and um, then I uh, kind of got frightened that I will not have any money and I will be stranded alone in a country. So that is why I didn't go through. Okay. Yeah, but one so- thing, uh, sorry to cut you, one thing for everybody who's watching the videos. It is still possible to apply for jobs from your home country and not only Germany, any European country. Yeah, the number of calls that you're going to get is going to be less. But if you have a strong profile, a strong resume, then you can get calls. Okay. Yes. So coming back, what I'm interested to know is, so you started the process in October, November, but you left it. You left that thought. And then you started applying for jobs again, say in January, or when did you even apply for job seeker visa? Give me that month. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So specifically to Germany, I started applying in uh, October only. So okay, because for jobs. Yeah, for jobs. So and side by side, I was gathering the details around JSV. Yeah. Okay. So you were so, now clear in your head that Germany is the place. So now you will try both the options. One is directly applying for the jobs, and second is yes. JSV, which is job seeker visa. Yes, yes, that's yeah. Correct. So I okay. yeah. So in my mind, I was already there. To be honest, with okay. You. <laughs> in my mind, I was already there. That that's a if... very very good <laughs> statement. You are so clear in your head that in your mind you're already there, and you know you know you're going to get the visa. You also know that you're going to get a job because now you're focused. You have a clear focus that I want to be in yeah. Germany next few months. So in your yeah. mind, you're already there. That's an amazing way to look at it. Okay. In my mind, I was already there in Germany. With right. job or without job, I just thought that if I apply for the visa, 
I will be there in Germany. So that was my first thought. Yeah. Right. So uh, that that is why I started applying for the job even before getting the visa because I just thought okay. let's get to know the industry. How yeah. Uh, how what is the you know interview process is whether they are you know catering to my resume or not. Exactly. Yeah? Exactly. So, And this is what I tell so many people when they book my slot for job seeker visa. Like first of all, there's some waiting for job seeker visa which we will get into. But before applying for that, or even while you're in the waiting, they start applying for jobs and understand how the market is working, how your your resume is getting rejected, why it is getting rejected, and it is use that time. Don't just keep waiting for the appointment. Use that time to apply for jobs. So then, uh, when did you apply for the visa, and when did you get an appointment? Yeah, so I applied in uh, around January last week. I applied for it. Twenty four. Yeah, twenty four. Jan twenty four. You applied for the visa, and then in Pune, right? Yeah, in Pune, but I have to go to VFS Mumbai. So okay. Got an email that I am in a waiting list because there was no slots available. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, after discussing with you, I got to know that there are waiting for eight months as well for few cities. So yes, yes, I, that's true. <laughs> uh, yeah. Just to let everybody know, right now, from the all the conversations that I'm having. In Bangalore, the waiting is around between six to eight months. In Chennai, the waiting is around one year, and in Delhi, I've heard the waiting is around three months. How much was the waiting time for you in Mumbai or Pune? Yeah, I received an email in the sixth week, sixth or seventh week. I received an email. So you were you... pretty quick. So I think yeah, Mumbai I is the fastest <laughs> right now. Okay. Yeah. And one thing to note here for everybody is this waiting period keeps on changing, and it also depends upon how many applications they are getting. Right. So don't go by this word. Just apply in the waiting list, and you might even get an email. Email after you know two months or even one month. You never know, and nobody knows that how much is the waiting period. The only way to know that is apply and wait for that email. That one email that will tell you book an appointment. Got it in six weeks, which is say around Feb. I got the visa in Feb. Got the so visa was, in Feb. Yeah, yeah. No, sorry, in the slot in Feb. In the entire six weeks, I was very anxious. Like when I will be getting the email. Then I got to the videos and all right. So I got. More information around the visa, like waiting period. Interview went fine ahead because I was like overthinking. But interview is nothing, just a conversation. Like right. And then when did you get the visa? I got visa in around three weeks. So around mid of March twenty four, which is just yeah. like one month back, you got your visa, right? Exactly. And exactly. Uh, what is the travel date that you gave in your visa? So travel date I gave July. Okay. I was confident enough that as soon as I get the visa in one month, I will get the offer. Or okay. If I don't get It. One thing here for everybody is the travel date, as per the process, should be within three months of your visa appointment date. So now, okay, so now you got the visa in March, mid of March of twenty four, and now you're preparing yourself to come on job seeker visa. Now, what magic did you do? Like now, you are still applying for the companies. You've been applying yeah. from January. So, what did you change anything in your resume? And what is important for us to know is how many companies were you applying in a day, and what was that magic? Yeah. So my two cents will be whether you have visa or not. If you are willing to move, you just have to make your circle in LinkedIn around it. Yes. If you are trying to move to Germany, just go through the recruiters, follow the hashtags, whatever <laughs> relevant to your profiles is. Go yeah. into the DM. Don't annoy people, obviously. But if you are trying to apply for a company X Y Z, just go yeah. to their pages. You know, go to the people's DM that this yeah. kind of opening I'm seeing. Yeah. yeah, and get your resume ATS complaint. I had around seven resumes. <laughs> I'm not yes, kidding. Yes, I, I had <laughs> around more than thirty resumes. I'm not kidding. For every category, there was a different resume, and that's the key when you're applying for jobs in Germany. Your resume has to be tailored as per the job description, and exactly. you need different versions of your resume. You can't just bulk apply. That will not work. If you are finding a job in Germany, I am a recruiter, and I'm telling you that that will not work. I felt yeah. like why the HR were rejecting my profile was because I am in India. One of the guy I had a chat with just told me that, <laughs> that I am going to invest ninety days in you, yeah. giving you relocation and all. But at the end of the day, in the eleventh hour, uh, I get to know from people. That they are not willing to relocate to country. Exactly. Yeah? While dropping the cold message, I used to write one more line that I will be moving to Germany next month. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And that is what changed. You know that you are telling them that you are going.
going to be in Germany. Then yeah, my resume I had written everywhere that I have a JSV in my cold messages. I used to write I'm I have the visa and I'm moving to Germany next month and I will be needing exactly help. exactly you know few recruiters I signed using the Google Translate. I used to send a German cold messages well like okay uh, even though I still have A2 but yeah. I'm eager to learn your language and yeah. if the opportunity arrives and if you are want willing to you know finance me to learn german i might get a b1 as well so i used to present myself given okay. opportunity will move to the country if needed to learn the language as well so yes. no issues yeah. and that's important and, just to yeah. just for everybody even even while you're learning german language or you're thinking of applying for a job in germany please mention in your resume a1 and a2 and you're learning it basically what we want to show them is that you are interested to learn their culture you are interested to learn their language one thing I I'm not sure about I mean if I when I was applying I would never put it on the company that you have to finance my language or my visa you know I used to always mention I'm ready to sponsor my own visa I'm ready to learn the language and so that also helps most of the companies here do provide language courses so Mohit then you applied for this company and when did you get the first call and how was the interview process how long did it take for them to give you the offer so what was that process like yeah so i got this opportunity through steps to firstly i got a call uh, i told them i will be moving to germany next month and okay, when did you get that call in second okay. week of march okay uh, call was not an interview but yeah uh just an email first that right. we have received your profile and we want to connect with you right. and the meeting was set up and then in the meeting there was there was normal conversation why you yeah. want to you know move across countries why you applied yeah. for jsc why germany right. why not any other country yeah so that yeah. was a quick call around 15 20 minutes okay. once that was done uh, i had my first interview set up just a week after that okay. on monday so and that was a technical interview no 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 uh, get to know each other kind of same hr which i had okay. a discussion yeah okay. from that only so there she was mentioning about the roles Uh, okay what kind of role that is, there is and uh, my profile why she has selected my profile for that role and then i have to present myself uh, myself as well how my skills will come into picture in that particular role okay yeah. and then uh, she was asking what kind of benefits i will be needing if i move i mean okay. i was shocked why in the first call itself what kind of help you will be needing while moving how much yeah. german i know and yeah. is there any preference to the city and uh, why do you want to apply for us so I, that's a very uh, important question here trust me why are you interested to work in this company in my company that's a deal breaker question for you and one thing which is important for everybody is to research about the company don't just give a generic answer that yeah i am inter- i know right now you're okay to get into a company but research about that company and then tell them how your skills are going to match their goal so did you do something like that or what was your answer do you remember yeah yeah so fortunately that was a financial client so i had already okay. worked with worked with one of the finance domain right i just told them corona every industry was down but not bank right, right. not finance that is where i am looking myself in okay. so this company where i am applying for suits perfectly for my uh, kind of domain which i am looking for interesting then come another question just said that you want to go to euro but why germany why germany my, yes. my answer was i have interacted i have worked with germans before i okay. feel like there is work life balance over there i feel yeah. connected to them and i have few friends in germany who tell me a lot of positive things about germany so exactly that was the thing yeah. and <laughs> one thing to note here is do not give such answers that is oh actually i am i am open to netherlands also i am open to spain also so from wherever i get a job offer i'll be moving there don't give such answers no, you have no, to I... say why germany if you're getting a call from a german a uh, company right and yes like you said that's a good answer there are other answers where you can say german has a stable economy the work life balance the benefits that government provides i've done a lot of research and those are great and that's why i've always been attracted to germany it is also a central location so you can even travel all around europe so there's so many reasons but make exactly. your reasons specific to germany 
and specific to that company that's going to help you so then how many more rounds did you have then uh, after this call i received an online uh, kind of test mcq right. plus programming which yeah. i received over email and i got around 48 hours to complete that that's and that's a case study uh, round okay yeah so i i had completed i was excited i had completed that on the same day <laughs> so Amazing. i just waited patiently for two days and then i received one email like i okay. will be having a tech interview tech round okay. one Okay. with one of my colleague so okay. that interview was set up uh, the following week and that interview i had uh, got from a basic interview it was i mean starting from the basic but as you go, move ahead they just want to go deeper and deeper about your understanding and the you know yeah. concepts that you are bringing to the table python algorithms you know theoretical questions firstly then some some scenarios questions and at the end one program was there Okay. Was was more of a conversation than a yeah. tech interview because yeah. uh, the guy was taking was very much interacting with me and you know discussing with me like you are given this answer but this can be also a reason to apply this kind of approach yeah. Right. And right. and I feel like I was not hundred percent with my tech answers but okay. But I I think uh, I had convinced him that if. Uh, i go with this approach the solution will be there because i remember i got myself in a trouble in the interview but okay. that guy just pushed me and then i gave the answer and the, he was satisfied with the answer i mean nobody expects you to have complete correct all 100% right answers but your motivation your approach to how do you analyze it how are you giving up or are you trying to find a solution and just or are you bluffing around yeah, yeah and one thing i want to add here is the interview style that you said that it felt like a normal conversation that is exactly how the interviews happen here you will not feel that you are having an interview you will feel that you're just discussing about your day to day work with another colleague or a friend of yours because it's going to be a very normal conversation but in that normal conversation they are evaluating you i still remember my one interview in one company uh, it was a 3d printer company in berlin and uh, the interview that took place i went there and this person it was a big manufacturing unit he took me for a walk around the entire company and he showing me these different departments so this is our chemical department this is our it department and while we are taking that entire walk the entire interview happened so i like this is amazing and in that only the interview took place okay so that is yeah. exactly how it was like a conversation but wo baaton baaton mein sab baatein nikal lete that, that, that exactly kind of... he always had a smile on his face he was yeah. just interested in me he was more interested to of my approach how exactly I'm... you know explaining things and yeah. uh, i got from him was even though my answers were not 100% correct but i was able to convince him so your technical skills as well as your presentation and communication skills will come in handy in the interview yes be it, in, be it non technical interview or technical interview but if you know the answer yes. but you are not able to present it there is no yeah. point yeah and so, one hard reality here i want to tell everybody is say if you do not know german language uh, which which is okay you are learning it but if that is not the case but at least then your english communication has to be good it cannot happen that you do not know german and then you do not have great english communication and then it becomes very difficult to get a job at least one of the languages has to be strong then okay. this was a third interview and then you had any more interview yeah so i thought that that's it I got an offer. I felt <laughs> like that, <laughs> but that was not the case. I received an email after two days that uh, I will have uh, another interview, which will be a system design level interview. Okay. One more thing I observed while applying for Germany was. Uh, even before the interview they will mention the details in the email itself what points they yes. will be covering yeah so yes. even though it was a tech around too through the description they were mentioning more of a architectural level things system level design questions yeah. will be there yeah okay. and so in that interview uh, they start with the basic ones again they will ask you uh, about your projects i mean what right. projects you have done and yeah. if you are able to explain them or not yeah and they also ask whether there was uh, any time where you got stuck in some production issue where there was impact in the data related impact or financial related impact or you guys right. were impacted because something was not reflecting 
Yeah. Okay. So those kinds of questions were there, and they will give you a scenario that you have to design some, um, you know, database or data warehouse or a database relations between a company who is a shipping company, for an example. Right. I, my, I got a shipping company example that uh, you will be opening a shipping business and you are hiring an IT company to design a data warehouse and okay. relations. Okay. between the tables data architectures everything so okay. they just want uh, they just want from you how you are looking to a problem yeah yeah what's your approach yes what is your approach so uh, being a data engineer i should know how the data data pipeline should work yes. if i'm designing some architecture for some people what kind of tables are needed you know right. in the tables what kind of information i will be loading right uh, those kind of uh, questions were there so that interview was uh, once again a conversational interview but that guy was a little bit serious because maybe that guy was senior relaxed and i got relaxed i said and he just told me that uh, uh, we are looking for candidates not just in india for all around the globe yeah. yeah he asked me the same thing india is such a fascinating country everything is growing over there why yes. you going to europe you know yeah. uh, because every day i hear only positives about india and you that's have, uh, true actually you said a very good thing i mean even in my company i, I think the way india's economy is booming and the technology is booming in india everywhere you go people are just talking great about india be it office be it uh, uh, outside with friends and it's like oh india is great and now people want to invest in india uh, globally yes. india has changed a uh, old uh, impression and now it is like in a completely different impression altogether okay? exactly. so that's an interesting yes. question why yes. india is growing why do you want to move right yeah exactly you already have a decent package over there so yes. why you want to you know being married guy you want to move across the yeah. borders right so yeah. my answer was i just need ex- international exposure and i feel right. like germany will provide me that not just right. uh, uh, you know technically but work life balance i'll get and then after this round you had any other round so the four rounds are already done yeah and... four rounds are already done so i once again thought <laughs> that's it <laughs> because after every interview uh, you get such a smiling answer and you know you when you discuss with people you you yeah. get kind of a thing that you have made it yeah <laughs> so i yeah. thought like I, that's it but yeah then um, after three days i uh, on Monday morning, I received an email that there will be a hiring around with the hiring manager on the okay. same day, okay. and their uh, hiring manager will ask you uh, will first introduce you to the project, to the company, uh, okay. to the role they are looking for, and how you will come into picture, and what kind of skills they are looking, and is okay. there something where I need to upskill myself before joining them. Yeah. Okay. So that was uh, the description which was mentioned on the email. However, okay. when I went to, into the interview, that interview was the same interview which I am giving you right now. <laughs> the exact same <laughs> thing. <laughs> uh, what kind of technologies you have worked on? Uh, yeah. How did you apply for the visa? What came into mind that you have to go to Germany? Uh, yeah. This is the project that we are having. This is the roles which we are hiring for. This is the technology which you will get exposure on. Uh, okay. There will be a discussion around your expectation of the salary. Okay. okay. Not their expectation, but your expectation of the salary, or if you are expecting anything else apart from salary or not. Right. Okay. So coming from India, my mind was just the salary. Salary, yes. Yes. <laughs> benefits yes. is something like bigger the company, bigger the benefit. So in India, we do not consider that. We just yeah. look into it. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. We we'll look into the uh, benefits. Just get the CTC sorted. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. But benefits is a big thing here. You're right, and their benefits are also uh, very. Uh, they're good. Uh, they also help you save lot of money and stuff like that. So. Yeah, it's 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 an important factor here. Yeah. So before that round two YouTube videos, I had a figure in my mind that yeah. if I make this figure, okay. I will be happy. Yeah. Okay. So that figure helped me in that interview because I believe Germans re- need concrete answers. Not give a range where you say that sixty to ninety would be fine for me. Yeah. No, so you can't I give the broader like... range, but you can give a smaller <laughs> range, sixty to smaller sixty-five, range. sixty to seventy. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So. I straight up front said that I need X X X amount that will make me happy, and uh, taxes there 
works differently. There are different categories and all. I just okay. told him that I need this amount in my bank account. That's it. He was kind of very surprised <laughs> because yes. he didn't know. He was not. I think he was not expecting a monthly figure. He was expecting yeah. a, a maybe a gross amount in yearly. Actually, annual yes. Right? Actually, they don't appreciate. I mean, even even now when I. uh higher candidates and when they tell me net amount uh that is something that that's not the answer that we would like to hear we would want to hear the gross salary expectation and we also expect the candidates to do a certain research because the net amount nobody can guarantee it is different exactly. for different individual based on your situation your exactly. how many people in the family are working how many kids you have it's like multiple scenarios that's why there are different tools online i redirect candidates to those tools and i have created a video for that as well that go ahead and uh, do your research but give me a gross amount i will not take a net amount so I, that's why he was also surprised because he was very he surprised when and... gross annually how much do you want yeah <laughs> and he he straight up called uh, told me in the cold terms that i will not be doing any calculations for you exactly <laughs> you just have to exactly. give me the figure yeah so exactly i i just told him that i do not have the figure right now but definitely with good internet sources i'll come up with that the interview uh, went on a positive note and that got concluded and okay. at the end uh, there will be final round so i mean these are all the rounds which will be happening to close to yeah. how many five rounds are five there five rounds are over now and uh, this yes. took you applied in mid of march say and i think by the time all these rounds happened it end end of march or april first week no 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 month month and a half it took april it, second week uh, yeah okay so it was like a uh, kind of april end by by the time all this interviews yeah, happened so 18th april i received uh, wow you still remember okay <laughs> so after fifth round you had an uh, then the last hr round yeah so 18th april i received an email for the hr round where they will okay. be discussing uh, the relocation benefits the awesome. ctc uh okay. the company benefits and uh, now it's their turn to present themselves you know yes <laughs> you exactly. have done your bit now yes. it's their turn and they will uh, you know make sure that you join them because they'll give you all the positive sugary things about the company exactly you know. and because you have gone through five rounds and not every candidate goes through so many rounds you know i would say if there are so many people applying uh, three or four people goes to until the fifth round or the sixth round right so they also understand that it is an important candidate and if they do not convert you then now they have to start the process all over again so it's the yeah. same case for us as a candidate that we have to apply again and it's the same case for the companies as well please understand both are in the same boat even the company and even you yeah, yeah. okay and, and i feel like it's more uh, dependent on your job role that you are applying for as well you know yes like i said data engineering is a very vast field and they want to evaluate you in every aspect you know because there are hundreds of candidates applying for the same job yeah you know but uh, mohit here in germany every interview round is this extensive it is like that they be it an hr i i interviewed for hr i also had a case study i had to present uh, create a ppt and present to the director and the manager uh, here so every role has these uh, detail interview rounds because they want to be sure they are hiring the right candidate they want the yeah. entire team to meet them yeah and one more thing that you have to take every like you said you have to take every round very seriously even that you have to because yeah. hr will not talk in a casual way it's no. all formal it, yeah. it it will be conversational that's correct but yeah. they are expecting up to the point answers if you are wanting yes. to relocate when, when wanted yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you are wanting to you know move to germany in which city yes. if you want uh, a work uh, your know, work nature whether it will be hybrid or remote you just have to yeah. tell them they will ask you hybrid or yeah. remote you have to tell hybrid okay hybrid yeah. how many days you have to be okay. at your point okay because my company is looking for one day a week are you fine with that you have to say yeah, yeah. yeah. and then they'll explain you the leave policies so when okay. how many leaves how many leaves you can look for and they are very yeah. thing so the uh, standard process of the hr round and 
the exactly. main question here is did you get what you were expecting or you got less or you got more than that uh, uh, to be frank I, i got more than that with that <laughs> so uh, <laughs> maybe uh, yeah so maybe on top of it there will be an annual bonus and six months of provision period which is standard yes. i believe there so yeah yes yes that is standard most of the companies here have a bonus program which is on top of your annual gross salary and that bonus percentage changes and it depends upon same thing like based on your performance and company's performance so great then now uh, we started the job process in march and by end end of april or 18th of april you had the hr round and then i assuming within a week or so you got the offer right yeah there there's a, then there's an agreement which you have to sign yeah and yeah okay so, so now so wow amazing and this now you had a job seeker visa but now you also have an offer from a company which is just a great great story and you know what do you think is the scope of data engineers in germany when you were applying for so many jobs yeah so to be honest with you data engineering has a scope in europe not just in yeah. germany in the entire europe is depends yeah. on which cloud you are specialist in okay yeah because uh, aws is the market leader but you will get many people who are specialist in aws so there is a lot of competition over there yes. to be very good in your skills to get hired uh, once again i'll tell you that it's a was a program and you have yes. to be specialist in your skills whatever you have mentioned in your resume you have yes. to get that get get that by heart whatever yes. questions because there will not be a syntactical question that we are having in india but yeah. in in germany i felt like uh, interview was more resume focused or uh, individual is, focused interview everything yeah. is based on your resume every word of your resume might be an interview question your resume is your bible as to say so that is it is very important yes yeah. and actually uh, i recently did a research on all data engineers job available in germany and that's a recent video that i've posted i could see thousands and thousands of jobs for data engineers you know exactly. i think i personally feel there is a good scope for the technical skills here in germany and the market is again opening up so go for it apply for the jobs just be consistent and just make sure that you are clear in your head that this is the next step you want and then go for that goal yeah i'm saying definitely apply for the job and get yourself uh, skilled in multiple clouds not just depend on just one cloud yes yeah I, that's a because, good uh, advice yeah go for it i would say there are a lot of jobs and i and one more fact which i got to know from my research that data engineers are getting paid a lot you know they are uh, there is very high salary in europe and you'll eventually get that salary in- or another scope is you can also do masters in data science or data engineering here in germany that's also one of the ways and then try to secure a job so basically there are a lot of ways to come here and uh, find a job or find the masters or education is just last two questions i have for you when are you moving to germany finally when are you coming here which month yeah so i'm coming in the first week of august okay and which city yeah. are you going to i'm going to frankfurt frankfurt oh great i'm also in frankfurt yeah. so we can meet in frankfurt oh i didn't know that <laughs> yeah because earlier i thought it it was berlin but um, when i had a discussion with you uh, i just went through the documents once again because i was excited and didn't even see the documents <laughs> but then i thought okay. okay it's fine but only yeah so okay uh, great uh, then definitely uh, yeah. we'll catch up and if you need any exactly. help then may definitely yeah, let yeah. me know but good great and lastly to close this call one piece of advice if you want to give to all the job seekers or any aspirant who's planning to come to germany what would you tell them yeah i would say uh, though the jobs are in english but eventually you have to learn german yes that's that's my take away because as was i was going through the research uh, of my research you know there's a blue card is very beneficial thing and it yeah. will uh, with blue card with german language will give you a pr very uh, around very, 21 21 months, months. Yeah, 21 months. Yeah, that's that's very great. And I uh, and other than that, just good. Be good at your skills. Keep on trying. Eventually, you will get the reply from the recruiter. I know it is difficult, but you have to present yourself. And, yeah. Uh, and I think visa will play a very good part because visa gives the in- indication to the hire- hiring manager that you are willing to relocate yourself. So yes. Like I you told at the first time. Exactly. 
just to add on to all these points be consistent at it it is difficult but nothing is impossible right everything is possible at the end of the day just go for it just keep applying go for it and very soon you will get what you are looking for so amazing mohit thank you so much for sharing so many details with all of us i'm sure this video is going to motivate a lot of people and if you are applying for job seeker visa you can still get job from your home country and then come directly on a blue card that's the best case scenario of uh, all this process and germany is hiring so it's amazing thank you thank you so much mohit i want to end this by saying uh, you you started ki itne videos dekhe itna research kiya mere khud ke videos bhi dekhe aapne kabhi socha tha ki mere hi youtube channel mein mere hi video mein hi mere interview mujhe ekdam se kabul sharma yaad aa gaya to be honest with you you should talk to my friends uh, they'll say iske paas duniya bhar ka gyan hai ye bas just he'll just keep on speaking about it so okay. i i never thought that i will be getting an opportunity to feature in a podcast i was going through the videos yeah but i never thought of you know having to feature in an interview with you on the <laughs> youtube channel or any podcast yeah thanks really? a lot for the opportunity no thank you so much this is amazing thank you so much and finally to everybody if you want to know more such things uh, we will be featuring more such interviews and not only uh, from a candidate perspective but also from hiring managers on what questions do they ask what while interviewing the candidates what skills are they looking for so this complete uh, series is dedicated to interviewing hiring managers and candidates so that you your all your doubts get cleared i hope you are liking what we are trying to do and achieve here and uh, thank you so much uh, once again uh, mohit uh, for sharing your time with us and uh, sharing this amazing story i wish you all the best and i'm going to see you in frankfurt soon definitely, and definitely. Uh, just just amazing i'm just so proud of you i feel so happy when i hear this story you know i've gone through the same journey and i know every every time you get an email that's a milestone achiever okay exactly. i got an appointment first tick mark that gives you little yeah. happiness and they're like okay i got an interview call first next tick mark you know and then finally exactly. getting a offer so you know it's a long journey but yes, amazing definitely. thank you so much Thank you. Thank you so much Gurpreet. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So guys, thank you so much for watching and uh, please subscribe to my channel and like if you are really liking what I'm trying to do here. It really motivates me to create more and more such videos. I'll see you soon again. Bye. Take care.